Hi guys, I have a planner flip through for you today. So I'm going to be flipping through the second half of 2016 in my Erin Condren planner. This is, it was the Luxe planner until I snipped the covers off because it was getting too fat. So this is what it looks like currently. We're about six months in. I still have 12 months to go. So the cover I have on right now is from Pumpkin Paper Co. It's just a wintry snow globe Terra. It's really cute. So let's get started. For the most part, all of these spreads are accurate. There are some which are replan with me's and some, well actually one, which is this first one, which is a mock spread. I'll talk more about that, but this is what it looks like. I didn't really use the notes pages. I did post plan this. This is July 2016. I love this part. The July part doesn't really match, like the actual kit, but basically this month is when we went to Maui and I love Maui, so that was really fun. This is when I started doing a highlight of each day in my planner, which I didn't end up doing for every month, but for the months that I did do it, I absolutely loved it. So that's what that looks like. This is when we went to Maui, this part right here that says life is an adventure. This washi tape is from Hobby Lobby. It's really pretty, it's gold foiled. So that is my July monthly spread. This I didn't plan because I was still in my old planner. And I remember that this week was a tough week so I didn't want to replan it anyway. This was a mock spread. I did film a plan with me on this one. It was a collab. I basically took my Memorial Week plans from May and just put them in this spread instead and used the July 4th kit from Little Miss Papery. I actually love the way that this turned out and I really love this kit as well. So if you guys want to see that collab, it's on my channel. Then this is the week that I dedicated to my mom because her birthday was during the week that we went to Maui, which was the previous week. I used this Scribble Prints Co. Celebrate kit and I just love these colors and these patterns. This is definitely one of my favorite spreads that I've done. And here is when I started the Scribble Prints Co. Party Countdown, which was super fun. Moving on, this is a week from Two Little Bees. Maria always does the most gorgeous kits. This is really summery and fun. This is the fourth week of July. I used a kit from GP Sticker Studio with the palm prints and the hot pink and black and gold glitter, which I love. That weekend banner though. And then that is the last week of July moving into August. I didn't use these. I did buy a kit from Planning World that I ended up putting down, but I didn't really put in any highlights or anything because I just, I didn't have any, I didn't write anything down for that month. So moving on to the first week of August, this was a, I used a Station Stickers Club kit. I got to pull in functional stickers that I wouldn't normally get to pull in because kits usually already have them. So I really enjoyed using Station Stickers kits in my planner. Is this the week? No, this is the week before the Scribble Prince Co. planner party. I think this was a replan with me as well. And then here, this is a very exciting week if you notice anything different about it. This was the week of the Scribble Prince Co. planner party and I was still planning in my old planner. So basically my glitter sisters planned out for me. So you can see here, I'm going to zoom in because I just love the spread so much. Here on the sidebar, this is Jessica from J. Crew Plans handwriting, hand lettering. She did that. And then we have Rochelle's writing here, and they did a lot of planning in here as well. And here we have Emily's writing. So I love that. I just, I love everything that they did in the spread. This is one of my favorite spreads of 2016. I, it's so special to me. So. Yeah, this is also when the Olympics were going on, so I loved watching the Olympics during this time as well. Can we talk about men's volleyball for a second? Moving on to the third week of August, this is using another station stickers kit. Again, I got to pull in a lot of functional stickers, which was really fun. Matt Anderson, number one on the USA men's volleyball team. He's my fave, so I love him so much. But yeah, anyway, moving on, this is an absolutely gorgeous week. It was a collab I did with Jessica Wilson, and we used the Shop Jessica Hearts Gray Skies kit, which I was hoarding for the longest time because it is so beautiful. 
So this is how my spread turned out. Definitely one of my favorites. I feel like I say that for every single spread, but I don't know. I just, I loved how this turned out. This was beautiful. And then moving on to September, this is the first week. Did I film a replan with me on this? Yes, I did. This is a monthly journal with me where I put in a highlight each day. This kit is from Hello Petite Paper. It's beautiful. I, again, love how these turn out. And then this first week here is from My Own Island. This is her summer, I forgot the name, but this was one of her summer kits, which I thought was really beautiful. And then this next week, I used a GP Sticker Studio Mystery Kit again. This was the week that I went back to San Diego for school. Here I have a kit from Odd Loop. This is their New York City kit, which I absolutely love. I loved using the white pen here. Unfortunately, it's smeared. Other than that, Odd Loop stickers are so amazing. Moving on, this is a different kind of planning style for me. This was a collab that I did with Jesenia from the Planner Sophisticate. We swapped planning styles. So this kit is from Caress Press. And oh, it's so nice. First time I used a Caress Press kit and I was hooked because her sticker paper is amazing. But I really adore the way that this turned out. This collab was really fun to do. And then moving on to October. This was a monthly kit that I did for October, again, with the journaling style. This kit is from Caress Press. I did film this one, but unfortunately, I didn't have time to edit it before I left for winter break. So I don't know if it's too late, if you guys are still interested. If you are, please let me know in the comments, and I can edit and upload that really quickly for you, because I do have to kind of film the voiceover, or record the voiceover and everything. So let me know if you guys still want to see it. If not, it's okay, and maybe I can do it or edit it next year in October as kind of a rewind kind of thing if I remember. But that is from Cress Press. And then this week I ended up planning in my old Erin Condren so I didn't have time to replan it here so I just left it blank. And then this is another kit from Cress Press. This is her Hello Autumn kit. I really loved how simple and light these colors were. This was a pretty busy week so I really enjoyed the simplicity of this kit. And then this is a kit from the Coffee Monsters Co., one of her autumn kits, which is beautiful. I love how this turned out, especially the darker glitter header colors that I chose. I feel like it really made, or it really popped in this spread. I really love how autumnal this was because October is really the center of autumn for me. And this is when I got my little, so that was really exciting. Moving on, this is a kit from Scribble Prints because it's actually a personal size kit. So I had a lot of fun using this kit because all the full boxes were smaller and there were less stickers involved. I think I filmed a plan with me on this one, but because of that I got to pull in other stickers as well, which I love doing. So this was a fun week to plan out. And then moving on to Halloween week, I used a kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. This was exactly the kind of kit that I was looking for. I did pull in some purple because I feel like purple, I don't know, I felt compelled to pull in some purple for Halloween. Moving on to November, again, didn't use this. I have yet to post plan slash journal my monthly spread. I have a kit from Sweet Quiet Design that I plan on using. And then this, oh, this is actually Halloween week because the 31st was on a Monday for 2016. They ended up using this kit from the Organizing Companion, which was really unique and beautiful. And I just put all the full boxes in the center because it made a scene. And then I planned, still from morning to night, but I just condensed my plans into these boxes at the top and the bottom. For the second week of November, I used this kit from Scribble Prints Co. I believe it was... Scribble, yes, it was Scribble Prints because I recognize it from the date covers. Jessica from J. Crew Plans actually sent this kit to me, which was really nice of her. So this was gorgeous. I loved using it. I just dropped a sticker sheet, but okay. Anyway, yeah, like I said, this was gorgeous. I loved pulling in these glitter headers from Little Miss Papery. And then on the third week of November, I used another kit from the Organizing Companion. She has gorgeous kits as well. 
this was the week that my little got initiated, so that was very exciting. I have my birthday countdown here at the bottom from Hello Petite Paper. November is my birthday month, by the way. <laughs> and then moving on to this week, I believe I planned this week in my old Erin Condren, I mean, my other Erin Condren, which is why it's empty. I did not realize that this week was empty, so interesting. Moving on to the first week of December. Oh, this was Thanksgiving week. Oh, I didn't, wow, I didn't plan Thanksgiving week. Wonder if I planned it in my other planner. I had initially planned to do replan with me's in a bunch of weeks in here, but I just couldn't find the time. So let me see here. It looks like I didn't plan Thanksgiving week, so. Ooh, there's a hair. Interesting, I did go home for this week and I did vlog this week, so if you wanna see what happened, you can watch my vlog. This is my birthday week. I did have a kit that I meant to use from Hello Petite Paper, but my birthday was so laid back this year. I just, it didn't feel super special. So I just decided to use this kit from Little Miss Papery instead because I did a lot of shopping for Black Friday. This was the week that I really started getting into the holiday season, so I decided on this kit instead. And I believe I mixed two kits together with Little Miss Papery and Planner-esque. So all these full boxes here are from Planner-esque. And this was my birthday right here. My birthday was a good day. Like, there are a lot of little things that happened on my birthday that made it really nice. So, but... Again, it was really laid back because it was really busy the week before finals. So that was my birthday week, and then this is also the first week of December. This is the second week of December. I used the eggnog kit from Cress Press, which I thought was perfect because it was finals week, so a lot of coffee involved. I loved pulling in my coffee washi. I should have put that in my favorites, I think, but yeah, loved pulling that in. Love Caress Press stickers, it's so nice. And then here on Saturday, I went home for Christmas break or winter break, which was amazing. It felt so good to go back home. I was really homesick. So moving on to the second week of December, I used a kit from Station Stickers. And this is very Christmassy, traditional Christmas colors. Loved this one. I loved this kind of blue-gray color too. That was a really nice addition to the kit. This kit is also silver foiled, so you can see that it was really gorgeous. My first time using a Station Stickers kit and I loved it. This was Christmas week, my latest plan with me. It's the Santa Baby kit from, sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. It's the Santa Baby kit from Crest Press and I chose this kit in particular. I remember saying this when I hauled it, but these colors are so fun. It reminds me of hanging out with my siblings and we went to Lake Tahoe this week and hung out with my siblings a lot and we, this kit just really reminded me of that. So that's why I chose it for Christmas. And then here is the last week of 2016. I used the winter kit from Odd Loop. This is also New Year's week. And I think this is my favorite spread of December. I love these icy blue colors and the pop of red makes it really festive. I love the navy, sorry, I'm a little bit sick still, so. But I just, this kit was so beautiful and Odd Loop always does the most beautiful kit, so I really enjoyed ending the year with them. So that is it for my planner flip through. Here's my favorites page for December. Let me know which spread was your favorite down in the comments below. I always love hearing everybody's favorites because they're always different. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!